The next way is the traditional compose way of functional programming, where you literally have a function that makes this chain for you in a synchronous way. The easiest way to do that without using reduce, <laughs> right? You can do it reduce if you're hardcore, is simply to import flow from Lodash. Or if you want to, you can import compose from Ramda. We're just going to do flow, but I can show you from Ramda. So if you want to do it from the Ramda way, you can do it that way. We're going to take a parse three here. And we're going to do it in order, just like we did with our promises. We're going to call flow. And what flow does is takes an array of functions, very similar to how a promise takes a list of functions. I want you to run parse people and give it that string. Whatever comes out of parse people, I want you to immediately put it inside of the filter humans. This gives you back a function. So what you could do, and what a lot of examples will show, is super pasa. Like this. This will actually give you a function back, and then you can just go ahead and test it out. Right? Use that function that it gives you. So if we log out parse 3 with our people string, you can see that it's parsing our JSON and then filtering the dog out. But I don't like this because it's 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 where, I don't know, one step of refactoring I just don't really enjoy. So I'm going to go and keep it in line for now, and we'll just immediately call it. So we'll do it like this, and then immediately call it, very similar to the immediately invoked function expressions of days of old. So now it does the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and keep going. We're going to add our format names. And you can see it's now converted those objects to strings. And then the last one we're going to do is the start case names. So it takes whatever the format names returns and then puts it immediately into here and invokes it and then gives you the return value. So the last one actually gives you the return value, which is our array of formatted names.